She's the science gravitatory. You're static electricity, Lily Brown. Yeah. I'm getting ready to help you with yeah. your static electricity. Here's some, here's some more balloons, Mommy. These are really little balloons, and they're kind of hard to they, blow they up. They hurt. Yeah. This is this. Uh, that's glass. That's why you're always behind the camera. <laughs> Okay, let me see what your face would look like if you were blowing up a balloon. Let's see you in a big pile of balloons. Oh, really? Ah, look at that. Staking, staking, staking. You just rub the balloon on your head and stick it to the wall like this. Oh. And then what, why does that stick to the wall? Because um, it has the static electricity. <laughs> oh. Awesome. Now you try. Okay, I'm done. Oh, it. Yeah. Tell me about your experiment. My experiment. You put them in, and that how the oil spout. The animals don't live. The animals don't live. If there's oil in there, you put one of these in there. And then the animals can't laugh. Pick that out. Good. Whoa! That was cool. Now throw it out. My name is Marie, and this is my science experiment. This is the sun. This is the earth. Where do we live on the earth? Right where the sticker is. See? Mm -hmm. I'm going to make it rotate. Oh, how long does it take to do that, to go around the whole sun? Uh, a whole year. Well, now, what about making night and day? How does it make daytime for Arizona? It's nighttime in Arizona. Spin, spin, spin. It's daytime. Who's sleeping now? Um, Germany. Germany sleeping? I always thought that. I could never prove it. <laughs> There's Germany. That's Germany. See? Cool. I'm doing the ramp race for you to push this button and then they can go down. Which one won? Which one won the race? Why did he win the race? Because the the top one yeah. goes down. My name is Davion. This is my science experience. Thank you. We're gonna put some soda in this cup. Tell them about the bubbles in this. Oh, did you hear that? Yeah. Tell them about the bubbles. What are the bubbles, Ben? Well, they're... Uh, what do they put into it? Um, carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide. Put four raisins inside, and let's see what's going to happen. One, two, three, four. Now, what are the raisins going to do? They're going to ride a bubble up to, the top. up to the top. And when the bubble pops, what's going to happen next? Fall down. They're going to fall. Okay. Come on, raisins. It makes electricity. So the, if the, when the water spins this, maybe this part's connected raisins, to something else and it can make electricity? Yes. Okay, drop it in. Let's see if that one wants Perfect. to work. There it goes. It just came up to the top. Oh, oh it. and it went back down to the bottom. And it came back to the top. And it's, the bubbles are going to pop, and it's going to go back down. Thank you, Marlies. Thank you, Bill. Oh, that one just fell back down. But you guys are supposed to come to Brenda's class with us. Right now? Yep. See, you didn't know either. <laughs> All right, guys. I am Kathy, the mad scientist of the preschool level. Okay, Avery, sink or float? Okay, let's find out. You're right, it floats. Avery, your hypothesis was correct. Do you think it's gonna sink or float? He says sink.
<gasps> what is it doing, Tyler? Yeah. It's floating. Fill it with water and see what, what happens. Put water in it, Lily, and see if it sinks. Oh, so if it's if it doesn't have water, it floats. With water, what does it do, Lily? Sink. It sinks. Thank you, Lily. Let's see if any lava is going to come out of the volcano. We're going to add some baking soda into our volcanoes. What comes out of the volcano, Tyler? Lava! We are going to mix these two ingredients together. Are you guys ready? Yeah! What do you think is going to happen? It's going to explode. It's going to explode? Let's do this one. What? Well, it's trash. Do it again, Brenda. Woo! Do it again. Do Well, this experiment is called Goop, and what we did is we showed how we have chemical reactions. However, some ingredients do not mix well together, and so this is an example of an ingredient that does not mix well together at all, and the baking soda and vinegar was an example of how some ingredients do really mix well together. Which, which ones catch on to the magnet and which ones don't? Go and check it Good out. Good job, Isaac. Go check it out. So, Lily, let's see. Is this puppy dog going to be magnetic? No. Why not? There you go. It sticks fast. Look, it does this stick fast. Can I try? Wow. Let's try. Those things are magnetic. bubbles in the bowl. There's a lot of soapy bubbles in there. So you just dip your straw in and then blow gently. There they are. See the bubbles?